Hi everyone. I'm going to host Thanksgiving this year, but it's just going to be for four of us, our oldest son, his wife, and my husband and I. Um, I'm not going to make you look at my face today because it is quite hideous after my surgery. It was uh, very involved. So I'm just going to do this so you don't have to see me. So I've got all of my, my bin of stuff I, I brought back out because I put some of it away but I want to put a bunch of just random things in that I think it's called a trifle dish or something so I'm just kind of winging it I love these that I found at I think Walmart they're just small and they're square and I want them to show through my plates and so I have these clear these clear plates so I'm just gonna set those around and then I have some napkins I'm never sure how to fold these napkins and make them look pretty. But I got these napkin rings from Hobby Lobby. And this one says enjoy. This one says let's eat. So that's appropriate for Thanksgiving. Um, this one says family. And then there's another one that says enjoy. And these are gray and white. Check. And then these have the, the beads. Um, like I said, I really don't know quite how to fold them and get them to look pretty. But I guess it doesn't have to be perfect. But I kind of like it like that with, like it looks a little flared out at the bottom. So I'll just go ahead and lay these on the plates and I don't think I'm going to set any kind of silverware out just yet because I don't have anything silverware that's necessarily special. We'll just use our everyday stuff. And of course we have to let the dogs out again. I swear just little kids. You know how when you have kids and you start talking on the phone to a friend and the kids are perfectly fine and then they're not perfectly fine. <laughs> it's like that whenever I try to make a video. So, just going to lay that right there. So, so far, so good. I mean, I like the way that looks and I love these. And then, I don't know what I really want to do with this this thing. I've got all kinds of pumpkins. So I think because I don't have any Spanish moss or anything to put in the bottom to stick the flower stems in, I'm just going to load this up with these pumpkins on the bottom. Gosh, I have a lot of stuff. You know how when you put your stuff away and then you go back in a little while and look at it or the next year? Wow, I have a lot of stuff. And all of these flowers here, they came from the Dollar Tree. 
so. In my Dollar Tree, everything's still a dollar. I know they're changing and increasing prices everywhere, but mine is still a dollar. Now I'm going to have to bend these around. I could cut them off, but I really don't want to cut them off because I used them somewhere else at the beginning of fall. And I'll probably use them that you know in that area again next year, so I don't really want to cut them off. So I'm just going to bend the stems as best as I can. Let's get this orange pick in there in the center. And then I like I love the way these leaves look. Those in there too. Kind of tones of greens and browns, just like the leaves that you'd find, you know, in your yard if you live in a place like I do, the Midwest. They're everywhere. And, oops, sorry. We, uh, have brand new trees this year because it's a brand new neighborhood and so we don't have a lot of leaves like we did before our other house but it doesn't take long for them to get big and fall off and I think we got lucky and got a red maple in the front and the back so it'll produce a lot of a lot of leaves for us to break up every year and by us I mean my husband. And then I've got this thing too. I don't know. It looks fall to me. We used to call them pussy willows, but I don't know what they're called now. I've heard them referred to as something different. And I just want this to just be really, really full. And then another thing that I want to do, but I need to be able to get out and get it, is uh, to get one of those craft pumpkins that's, you know, the soft that you can cut into um, or paint or whatever. But I want to make a vase out of it. So what do you guys think? Let me, let me show you here. This is how it's coming along. It's kind of everything that I hoped for. Need to fill in some more over here. But yeah, full, you know, full like that. Yeah, you know. And then on the bottom are the pumpkins. And I got some more work to do on it. But then I also have these little sparkly pumpkins that I'm, I think I'm just gonna put one on every, you know, at a replaced mat or placed setting or whatever you call it but it's only a couple of weeks off and so I think I think I'm just gonna leave it and not put it away I'm just gonna leave it like this until Thanksgiving and then I'll take it take it all down and then I will start seriously decorating for my winter wonderland theme for winter not necessarily Christmas so that's it. This was just a short, quick video. I was checking in and let you guys see what I'm messing around with as I heal from my surgery. And um, I'll talk to you the next time.